bring on our next celebrity. He's a comedian and actor who, in the sitcom Benidorm, played a pub quiz champion called The Oracle. Now let's find out if that was method acting as we welcome Johnny Vegas! <laughs> to see you. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. So, you're Johnny Vegas? Yeah, and I just tend to drift in chairs like this. Yeah. I'm not even doing that. No, I know. <laughs> well, why That's not effective. You... I don't know the answer. I might just... Disappear off. Slowly drift away. You're a comedian, as we can see, and you're best known, I guess, for appearing with a small, smart-ass monkey, which makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> um... I run quizzes and got the answers wrong when I had the answers in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I once announced that the clavicle was in the knee. Yeah, well, that's the correct answer. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna use a lifeline on this because I really don't want to risk anything. I'm gonna ask the audience. All right, audience, uh, on your keypads, please. Uh, this is the question. Uh, which of these celebrations normally takes place on the last day of a month? If you think it's Guy Fawkes night, you press A. If you think it's Halloween, it's B. Um, if you think it's St Patrick's Day, it's C. And Christmas Day, D. And if you'd all vote now, please. Right. It's another whopper. 96% have gone for Halloween. I... And, uh, again, 4% don't like you. <laughs> I mean, 2% have voted for Christmas Day. I know, but there's 4% I know now in this audience going, I've waited all this time to watch you fail. <laughs> <laughs> what would a person typically do to an aperitif? Eat it, drink it, read it, or wear it? I've done both of those. <laughs> I suspect that you're a bit of a dark horse here, that you actually know a lot more than you're letting on. I honestly don't. <laughs> I've never met a stupid comedian. Um, so, anyway... Well, I've always classed myself as an entertainer. <laughs> this, is the, uh, this is the question. How many teeth does a dolphin have? <laughs> Here's the is question. Catherine of Adigan. <laughs> is the question. I'm, 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 I'm going to have to call a friend. OK, who are we phoning? Paul. He's, he's one of the quiz masters on The Chase. Well, you just, really? Yeah. Has he got a quiz master on The Chase? Y yeah. And is he a friend or is he just, you've just... Oh, he's always round the house bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> In a way, he's a bit of a pest. Why <laughs> <laughs> somebody else thought to do that? All right, well, let's give, uh, let's give Paul from The Chase a call, shall we? The Testament's 110% certain. <laughs> you know what? I love you. I love I'm going to get in semi-skimmed and full fat next time you're around, mate. We are on it. <laughs> That is a very clever idea. All future contestants should bear that in mind. Don't get, you know, oh, it's my sister's husband. That's no good. You need Paul from the chase. He was 110% certain you're going to go with him. Uh, yeah, D, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll go with A, the testaments, and that's my final answer. Thank you. Uh, needless to say, you're absolutely right, and that is... <laughs> Right, yeah, it's the sequel to The Handmaid's Tale. Yeah, well, I was, that was what I was thinking, but I was like, oh, which novel did I read before that? That's right, The Beano. <laughs> <laughs> when that came up, I was in, there was this gut, and I had it the other day as well with one that turned out to be right, and it was Parsec, same as you. There's, Newton isn't, I'm sure... I'm, I'm like you, I don't think... It's a Newton metre. I've heard of Newton's law. I've never heard of it as a measurement. It's a measurement of torque, a Newton metre. Right. It's a measurement of, of torque, NM. It's the, so we use pounds per square inch, but the, everyone else uses a Newton metre. Tesla is electrical. 
moles, a, a ratty thing that lives under the yeah, ground with yeah, no yeah, eyes, yeah. has got nothing to do. And I, do you know the awful thing is, I think I've heard, it's not a, it's not an intellectual body of work, but I think I've heard Parsec mentioned in Star Trek. I have, and that's what I think. I think I've seen Chris Pine a... talk about Parsec. Now, I'm not certain, Johnny, I'm not... And no, no, there's, no. There's I, a lot I, of money I, riding, I, a charity money riding on this. But my gut says Parsec, and it's nothing other than a feeling. All right. I, I'm, I'm the same. I'm and the, that is my final I, I'm answer. I'm the absolute same. I've heard them going, oh, so many parsecs per, per... So I think sci-fi writers and that journey through space is my thing. Like you say, it's a gut instinct. I'll go with C. It's my final answer, parsec. OK, as I helped you, it doesn't come up on my screen immediately, so I have to ask for it. So, um, tense moment, this. Um, computer, could you reveal the correct answer? Yes! yes! Well done. But this is really weird, this, because the last thing, my, my, uh, the last cohesive conversation I had with my dad, I came downstairs and the boxing was on, and my dad went, Look at the left hook on him. And that was the last thing he said, you know, before. Really? Yeah. And he's just telling me, B, Chris Bank Senior, Chris Eubank Senior, that's my final answer. What warming story, but sadly the wrong answer. Oh dear, that's. Uh... I didn't know. I didn't know. So no, it was, uh, it was it was a... Joe Calzaghi, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Vegas. Well done, mate. That was fast. Johnny, I've got first question. You're going. Come on, mate. There you go.